Example 5.5 is a very important example because uh, in this example, you're going to recognize what is the difference between the distance traveled and the position. All right. You're going to see how to know if the distance traveled is equal to the position or how to find out what is the total distance traveled. So I have a particle and this particle is moving along a horizontal path. So I know that this is a rectilinear kinematics because uh, in the question, I have a horizontal path with a velocity of V is equal to 3 t squared minus 16, which means, guys, I know the velocity in terms of time. If it is initially located at the origin O, so when T is equal to zero, guys, I know that this particle is located at S is equal to zero at the origin. Determine the distance traveled in 3.5 seconds. So after 3.5 seconds, I know, or I can predict what is in fact the position of this particle. I need to find the distance traveled, not the position. I need to find the distance traveled in 3.5 seconds. And then if I know this distance traveled, I can find the average speed and the question also to find the average velocity, all right? So guys, let us remember the, uh, the equation of the average speed. In fact, the equation of the average speed is equal to st, where st is what? It is the distance traveled over delta t, which is here 3.5 seconds because uh, t0 is equal to 0. And velocity average is equal to delta s. Delta s is the displacement over delta t, which is here 3.5 seconds. So I'm going to, guys, find out first what is the distance drop, right? Before solving this problem, guys, let us see what could be the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the cases or what could be the probable cases of this path from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 3.5. So I'm going to take the first case in red. I know that this is S, right? So this is S and this is S. Such. Okay. The first case... So in the first case, I know that when t is equal to zero, the particle was here at the origin, right? So this is O. So the particle was at the origin when t is equal to zero. In the first case, I'm gonna assume, guys, that this particle is going only in one direction to the right. And this is its position when t is equal to 3.5 seconds. Right? So I'm going to assume that this is the path of this particle. In this case, guys, the distance traveled will be the same as the displacement. So in this case, guys, this is ST, and this is also delta S. All right? So ST here and delta S are the same. Now I'm going to take another case where this particle, oh, let's take the gray color, where this particle is moving to the left and then moving to the right until reaching t is equal to 3.5. Now, where is delta s and where is st? In fact, guys, delta s 
doesn't depend on the path followed by this particle. So this will be delta S, and this whole distance here will be ST. In this case, ST is much greater than delta S. Now, which is my case? How can I find what is my case in this problem? Same, can we deduce that it is moving in a cubic form from the equation? So what? So second one, how we can make, be sure that it is the second one? My Gaffey, you can do this, yes. So yes, saying you can do this, you can draw the velocity. But if you draw the velocity, oh, what do you mean? You want to draw uh, S? You want to draw S, same? Okay, you can draw S and then you can see if S is negative or if S is positive. This is what you mean? All right, you can do this. What if I don't want to find S? What if I want to find which case from the equation of V? That one, if the velocity is speed, I have to find the speed. I don't know the speed. I don't know the speed yet. I have to find the distance traveled to find the speed. How, guys, from the equation of velocity, can I find what is the case? Same. At t is equal to 0 and at t is equal to 3.5. So what? No, this is not the correct answer. I find the solution of S. Without finding the solution of S, Tana, how can I find if this is the first or the second case? Take any time between 0 and 3.5. And then we try values for t and find v. Not exactly. Not exactly. Okay, guys, I'm going to ask you one question. What does this mean? If this particle is moving first to the left and then it is moving to the right, what does this mean? Basically, guys, I can have another case also. I can have this case right here. This particle is moving. Just one minute, guys. This particle is moving to the right. Then it, it turns and moves to uh, uh, the left. And then it it is moving again to the right, and then it is moving to the left, and then it is moving to the right to reach 3.5. So, guys, how can I know which is my case? Batul, Sen and Batul, they are referring to negative velocity. They are saying that when we put t is equal to 1, we can get minus to 3 meters per second. Yes, you're right, Batul. What does this mean? A negative velocity means that the particle is moving to the left. All right, so what should I do? So what should I do, basically, guys? I have to check for what? For the sign of V, guys. What I have to do is to check for the sign of V. If V is positive, if V is always positive, then I am in the first case. And this means, guys, if I am in the first case, this means that ST is equal to the displacement. The distance traveled is equal to the displacement. If V is changing its sign, then this means, guys, that the particle is turning. It's going to the left, then to the right, or to the right, then to the left. So I should find out what is the sign of V with respect to T. This is what I'm going to do, right? 